bit uh, of how legs have evolved over the years. We have this old prostasis that actually came from a mining camp in the Sierras. And this is just a home-built thing that somebody made. And it's a, it's a, a knee-bearing leg that they can just put on, they can strap around their body, and this still allows them to walk around and be mobile. These are the days before, really before anything was commercially available whatsoever. So people were, were you know, kind of forced to make things themselves, to make do with themselves. After that, things started becoming a little more sophisticated, and things were made, a lot of legs were made out of wood, so they actually had to whittle sockets out of wood. And here's, this is an example of a socket that's made out of wood on the inside. These are actually made out of wood. This is a leg that was made in England, so it's all aluminum construction. But this is very typical of what we saw for years and years and years. Very uh, unsophisticated knee joints. They're more, more or less just a door hinge. And one of the problems that would happen is that sometimes people would lose stability on the knee and have that buckle out from underneath them and cause them to fall. So the things that, that have changed since then is now we have very sophisticated knees with hydraulic controls. These legs are very stable when the heels and when they're down, weight bearing in the heel position, this leg is very stable and it won't bend. But as they walk forward over the prosthesis, it'll automatically release for their next step. Wow. And then the swing is controlled by the little hydraulic unit here. A little more sophisticated than that would be to add the computer control for the hydraulics. There's also a few things that have come up lately that, that are kind of neat little devices. We have rotators we can put on these legs. So that if you're putting your shoes and socks on, you can release the knee section so you can turn your leg over or sit on the floor in a tailor style. I have teachers that want to be able to sit on the floor so to have this release button so they can release the knee. The kids love it because they can turn the knee upside down at the cafeteria and put their milk carton on top of there. So it's kind of fun for them. And then eventually, those are cosmetically covered with a soft foam cover that gives it the appearance of skin. I have a swim prosthesis I use for training and for triathlon. This I use for soccer, running, walking, everyday press. I also use this for training on the bike. And then I have a sprint foot, which is one of these long, sort of bird leg looking spring, uh, like a leaf spring. It's for, um, you see it for Paralympics for sprinting. You can have people bring in their own material, their own artwork, and incorporate it into that prosthesis, which gives them a little bit of a more personal input as into how the leg comes out. So we ask, they, they pick the material, we put it on as a final layer and then laminate it in place here. What do we have here? This is Marvin the Martian. Um, and I wanted to have one made up, but we couldn't figure out how to do it without killing the fish. To have uh, <laughs> water in here and have a goldfish in it. And I mean, that was possible, but the, the fish would <laughs> die, so we didn't do it. <laughs>